What up lions and lionesses of I Train With Wayne. My name is Megan Fessler McCarthy. I am one of the co-owners of Tread House in downtown Lancaster. Um, Wayne reached out so I could provide three tips on how to stay moving during this at home workout lifestyle right now that we are all adapting to. So stay tuned. I got three tips for you guys to stay healthy and moving. Tip number one, have a positive mindset. So this is huge. Shana and I say this all the time before you start a tread block in the middle or right before you're about to go into your very last ham. So have a positive mindset. If you're in a headspace that's negative before you even start your movement and you're already thinking about when you're going to be finished or I only have to get to this distance or time and then I'm done with this, then you're already setting yourself up to feel defeated and a positive mindset really starts with self-talk. So I like to say, talk to yourself like you would talk to your best friend. You wouldn't look at your best friend while you're going through a run or a jog or a walk and say to them, hey, hey you should slow down. You know, it, it sounds funny or ridiculous, but you should talk to yourself and hype yourself up like your best friend would for you. So be present in your movement and just enjoy that you're lacing up your sneaks and you're moving forward because that's the goal. Just keep moving. So don't feel defeated if you need to scale back your pace and get to a jog or to a walk. You're still moving forward, so stay positive. Tip number two is your breath, your breathing. So your breathing can help keep you feeling comfortable while doing something uncomfortable like jogging or running. So what a big breath can do for you is three things. When you inhale through the nose and out the mouth, when it's belly breathing, you can clear your mind. You can take the tension out of your neck and your shoulders and you can feel your stride, you're regaining focus in your form. So the goal when you're breathing is to just get back to feeling comfortable, maybe bring down your heart rate a little bit and to try to implement this while running so that you can keep going longer and stronger. So remember to breathe, it's okay to scale back. My last tip for you guys is simple. Make this fun, enjoy your journey because all that you can do is your best. There's nothing else to that. So enjoy it, enjoy your practice, enjoy your journey, make it fun. Make a, a, a dope playlist, that way you get hyped up for the next song that's coming. Get your workout outfit ready, lay it out for tomorrow. Get your shoes ready so it matches your shirt. Tag your buddy, get your support system and lean on them right now because more than ever we need to take care of our health, our mental, emotional, our physical health and just lean on our community right now. Lean on Treadhouse, lean on iTrain, lean on your experts, your friends, your family. And if you need anything, reach out to us. We're here for you. Um, shout out to Wayne and all the lions and lionesses at iTrain. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll get through this guys. So stay healthy, stay safe. Megan signing out. <laughs>